Hey, it's Dave with Quad City Safety here to talk about earplugs. So let's say that we're required to have a hearing conservation program and we all of a sudden we have to have earplugs. <clears throat> There's some questions that arise. And one of the biggest questions is, you know, uh, do I have to have more than one type? While there's not really a specific mandated amount, you want to give choices. And the reason that you want to give choices is because there are everybody's ear canals. So, you know, when you go to put something in, it's kind of like when you buy uh, uh, earbuds or any any kind of, uh, you know, thing that you, you're connecting to your phone. There will be different sizes of cups that go into your ear that make those seals because everybody's ear canals are a little bit different. So that's the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we bring choice. And when we say choices, it can be roll downs or it can be reusables. So when we start talking about, well, what, 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 what do you mean? So when we talk about uh, the fact that this product here specifically um, is a little bit beefier, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. A lot of times they'll come with a case. So we're using something that's more reusable. So this would be something that day in, day out. So this one specifically is a tri-flange. So there's little flanges here that basically help make that seal so it doesn't require me to roll it down. So uh, we have reusable products. We have ones that we have to roll down. So these, these are gonna be less expensive, but some, some of the problems with them are uh, we create a bunch of garbage and we have to roll them down and properly insert them. So when we're talking about proper insertion, if you just see somebody kind of stick it up by their ear and they go, that's not gonna be good enough. We need to make sure that we're rolling the product all the way down and that we are making sure that we get that securely into the ear canal to where, as you can kind of see, that's, that's, that's just in there. Uh, the goal is not to have something that we just kind of stick it into our ear and it just and it just rides along so there's a lot of choices when it comes to uh, your rolled down disposable versions so where you can kind of uh, understand is a lot of times as people may change lunch breaks or whatever we're creating a lot of garbage and throwing a lot of stuff away and then that gives the case for a roll down corded so again we have a corded plug here that again we would need to roll down to properly get inserted into our ear canals so you know there could be a case to where instead of using two pairs of these a day three pairs depending as we're going in and out of where we you know are mandated to wear the hearing protection we can basically wear that around a lot of safety glasses now have the fact that you can you can use it as a retainer um, there are newer technologies uh, for instance, this guy, as I roll it down, it's impregnated with aloe. So if I have problems with uh, ear, a regular plug drying out my ear canal, I can go to one of these guys that's impregnated with aloe. Uh, now we even have products that are called twist-ins. So they're more long, they're disposable, they're not kind of they're not kind of as hard, they're a little bit softer than uh, your traditional reusables. And this one kind of, you know, for instance, this model comes in, uh, basically I attached the uh, cord to it so it can come corded or uncorded. But again, versus trying to specifically roll this down, I have one that I is designed to just twist in. So I'm just twisting that into place. So when we talk about disposable earplugs, let's go back through, we need to give choices. We need to figure out budgetary. Is it, do we want to just go with, you know, a basic roll down uh, disposable, or would we like to uh, look at a long-term savings by instituting a reusable? Uh, maybe we have, again, those issues with sizes of ear canals, or the fact that we can have hygiene, ear, hygiene issues and may need to go to an aloe-based product. So those are just some things to when, you, uh, when you're thinking about hearing protection that you might want to work through. And if there's any samples or anything that we can help you with to kind of guide you through that experience and making the right decision, or there's other questions that you have as it relates to hearing conservation, don't hesitate to reach out to us at quadcitysafety.com.